Uh, remember, the Prime Minister made a, a post-noon announcement. Uh, it, it had, uh, well, created quite a kalabali at that point in time. And that announcement was all about India's uh, India entering a new uh, space, uh, well, uh, you know, in, in terms of being able to fight uh, wars or, or uh, you know, be able to demonstrate its ability outside of uh, the usual parameters, which, which is ground and air and, and water. This time it was all about space. So what happened? This ASAT test that India did, it brought us in, this, in a very special category of only three other countries, so made us the fourth country that can actually destroy a satellite uh, outside, uh, in, in, basically in space. Now, Pallav Bagla joins us for more on this. Pallav, the criticism from NASA was expected. It has come. Uh, what NASA has said is that uh, debris has been created and it's a terrible, terrible thing that India went ahead with this ASAT test. Now, they're also going ahead uh, to give you numbers like uh, because of this, the chances of the International Space Station being hit by small debris has shot up by 44% over a period of 10 days. But Anand Mahindra comes up with a tweet and we'll bring that tweet up in just a bit. And he says, this is a case of the pot calling the kettle black. Give us your perspective. Well, there is no doubt that an anti-satellite test would create debris. But like India said, they shot the satellite down at 300 kilometer altitude and the debris would decay in three weeks and all the debris will come down to earth. Now, one needs to look at the current perspective. There are more than 2000 satellites in space of which 800 of them belong to America. Only 50 of these satellites belong to India. And if launching satellites causes 100 times more debris, then you can imagine who created all the debris which is mostly there in space. So if Anand Mandra is saying it's the uh, issue of the pot getting, calling the kettle black, I think it's very correct. And if India did a, does a test, obviously there will be reactions. When India did Pokhran 2 in 1998, the American came, Americans came down like a ton of bricks. But if you see, this time the reaction from the American government has been rather muted. And the agency which monitors space debris for America is their armed forces. And their reaction to this test and the debris creation has also been muted. Uh, the response from the chief of NASA is on expected lines. And I don't think uh, uh, there's a likelihood that the International Space Station would be hit by debris from India. Obviously, there is a finite chance, but then there is so much more debris from other countries, the chances of the International Space Station getting hit by debris from other countries is much, much higher. Also, the test by India was conducted at 300 kilometers altitude. The International Space Station uh, re revolves at more than 400 kilometers altitude. The so number of pieces which may have traveled to that altitude would be much smaller than in the envelope where the microsat r the satellite which we think was possibly hit by india was traveling so yes finite chance of uh, debris hitting the station base station but much lower than what would happen because of the american large number of debris they themselves have created in space